Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back with another video. So recently, I got to use the Redmi K20 Pro for a few days. So in today's video, I'm gonna share my thoughts about it. So without any further delay. Let's get into the video. So now let's talk about the build and design of this phone. Starting from the back, it's got a glass back. And it's got a new look. I'm not seeing this type of look on other Xiaomi phones. There are phones with that look, but this is kind of a different look. So you got the colors running down the side. And when the light hits on the phone, you get this cool flame effect, which is really good. So as I told earlier, it has a glass back. So which makes the phone a fingerprint magnet and due to its glass back, it's quite slippery. So I would suggest you to have a skin or a case on. The good thing is you would get a good quality case from the box itself. So this phone has got almost the full screen to body ratio. That means there is no bezels or chins found. So to implement this look, they had to introduce the pop-up camera. And to get the clean look at the back, they had to introduce the in-display fingerprint scanner. So Redmi has done a really good job when it comes to build and design. This time around, the phone really feels like a premium device. Now let's talk about the display. So this device has got a 6.39 inch AMOLED panel, which means the colors are punchy, the contrast are infinite. So this phone has got Corning Gorilla Glass 5 for protection and you do get Widevine L1 support. So the media consumption in this device is really good. So I want to even talk about the headphone jack. The headphone jack is really good in this device considering the brands which are just letting it go. Redmi is keeping the headphone jack is a really good choice. And along with the hi-fi adaptation, the output from the headphone jack is good. So let's talk about the performance. K20 Pro comes with the latest Snapdragon 855 along with Arino 640 GPU. So when these both pair up, you get a really, really good gaming performance. And the Snapdragon 855 is really good when it comes to day-to-day -to -day tasks like opening apps, surfing the web, so this can handle everything with no difficulty. So this phone does runs on MIUI 10, which is based on Android 9. So the software experience found in this phone is really good. It comes with Poco Launcher 2.0 pre-installed with it. So the gaming performance found in this device is really good as it's paired with the latest Snapdragon 855 and Arduino 640 GPU you're getting really really good performance and gaming experience out of this device. So you've got this 8 layer cooling system it's really uh, amazing when it comes to performance and gaming and it gives you a flagship level performance. So let's talk about the camera. It's got a triple camera setup. The primary camera being a 48 megapixel camera. Then you have got a telephoto which is 8 megapixel. You've got a 13 megapixel wide angle lens. So the photos which come out of the primary camera are really good. They capture all the detail, the color production is good, the contrast is good, the dynamic range also is pretty damn good. But I think the saturation is like a tad bit high. So under broad daylight condition, the photos which come out of the primary camera are really good. But when it comes to the night time, it kind of lacks the detail. You can use the night mode. So what the night mode does is it tries to capture all the details. It sharpens the image. Sometimes it does give the artificial look. So if you want to use the night mode and other features, I would suggest you to install the Google camera. I'll be leaving the link for it down in the description along with a guide which will tell you how to set your Google camera for your K20 Pro in a correct way. So when it comes to the other two lenses, which is the wide angle lens and the telephoto lens, though they don't capture as much as detail as the primary lens, they do a really good job. They have a good color and contrast the, but the only thing is they won't capture so much detail as the primary camera so when it comes to the selfie camera 
though i'm not a big selfie person i just tested out with few selfies so the normal mode works good it captures good details and when it come to the portrait mode the edge detection was really good so talking about video you can shoot video using all the three lenses so you can shoot 4k at 60 frames the only drawback is you don't have any type of stabilization but when you shoot at 4k 30 frames you do have eis so you have smooth and stabilized footage so now let's talk about the battery life so this phone packs a 4000 amp battery so you get within the box a 18 watt fast charger this phone supports even 27 watt fast charging so you can easily get through a day with heavy usage but if you're a person who doesn't game much you can easily even get more than a day So this brings us to the end of the video. Is K20 Pro a good phone? It is. It's got a good build. It's got a good display. It's got a decent camera. It's got amazing performance. It's got a decent price. So let's talk about the price. So you do get this phone for twenty eight thousand, the base variant, which is six GB RAM and one twenty eight GB internal storage. I'm not telling this phone is bad, but the only thing is they could have done the pricing a bit better. That's my only issue. Other than that, this phone is perfect. This time around, they have done a really good job with this phone. So I'll be leaving the best purchase link down in the description. Check that out. Hope you guys like the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and tap on the bell mark. Until then, it's me, Bharat, signing off. Like share subscribe and don't forget peace out